So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the BG Pro Grinder from Clarix Metalworks, and this has just arrived today. So I've been wanting a new grinder for some time to replace the old one, which I had built for me probably about four or five years ago, and I came across Clarix, who are European-based, um, they're based in Bulgaria, and they make these fantastic flexible grinders. Um, so this has just arrived today, um, so let's open her up and see what we've got. So this thing has been packaged really, really well. It's had this whole sort of box constructed all around it. So I'm hoping it's going to be in very good condition. Ooh, got some goodies. So I assume this is, okay, instructions. And there's a CD there for the VFD. A bunch of bookmarks or stickers. All in the Clarix branded file. T-shirt, that'd be useful. A big Clarix banner. Um, that'd be quite nice hanging up here in the shop. Now this does seem to be packaged really well with everything protected in this plastic wrap. So let's get this wrapping off. So let's take a look at what we've got. We've got the actual grinder itself with our articulating tool rest. And this has just got a really nice smooth action. The actual base of the grinder has a little toolbox. And in here at the moment are our little small wheel attachments. That's a really nice place to keep them. They're gonna stay clear of dust and all the crap that you'd normally get in a workshop. We've got our speed controller which obviously connects to our VFT, which we'll look at in just a second. We've got on and off switch and a, and a power indicator. Across the side here, you can see we've got some extra plug sockets um, for things like dust collection, or maybe you've got a, a lamp that you'd like, you'd like to plug in. That can plug in directly into the base. So these controls here are basically remote controls for the VFD, which is just here. So the VFD can be mounted away from the grinder and we don't have to reach around the back and get hair stuck, that kind of thing, which is really nice. So those remote controls are going to come in very, very handy. It's worth noting that the VFD comes mounted in this steel powder coated box, um, which gives it that extra protection. So you can open it and you can get to the standard VFD, which is a Delta VFD. Um, but it's really nice that it's got this extra protection of this steel box. We've got our belt tensioner, which I think is the only assembly that we actually need to do for the whole grinder. So we'll put that together in just a second. We've got our, our tool rest. We've got just at the back there, we can see a rotary platen. Um, and I'm gonna talk about that in, in bigger detail, just when I put this thing together. We've got our small wheel attachment, and obviously we've got our straight platen. Now looking at the construction of this thing, the first thing that jumps out is that this is made with solid bar. So this is solid aluminium, which has been machined very, very nicely. So whereas my old grinder had a, a tube, a box tube of steel, this is solid. Um, so it sh should really, really be a very strong machine. Machined very well, very nice. So it seems that the only assembly needed on this thing is to put this belt tensioner on. And that's simply done with a bunch of Allen bolts. I think they're five mil bolts, so let's get that done.
on the base is this little holder for the small wheels. Um, the small wheels are made really nicely, really nice rubber, um, some really good quality bearings, and all six will fit in here perfectly. The machine also comes with some spare bearings, should you need them, um, and this particular one came with three. So hopefully I'll never need them, but it's good to know that I do have some spares. So the electrics which are on the base here comes with an input for the motor which simply plugs straight into here. And that then goes off to the VFD. Uh, but we also have a mains master switch as well as a spare plug socket. Um, and this will be configured for your region. So for example, the, mains, the main power adapter here is an EU adapter. And that means we also get an EU plug socket there as well. Great for lamps, dust extractors, that kind of thing. This spark arrestor is also very handy. So that just fits onto here very simply and it's adjustable. And it should stop any sparks coming off and blowing straight into your face or into your hair. So what's really unique about this is the fact that the whole machine can be raised up and down so you get that perfect working angle. Obviously this platen can be moved at any angle too and locked, locked down very, very simply. But the biggest selling point for me is the fact that this can very easily be converted to a horizontal grinder. And just like when you're working within the vertical grinder, when it's set up horizontally, this tool rest will also fit on. And again, that can be moved to any point be the perfect horizontal belt grinder. So the VFD here, before I mount it, I just want to show you how it works. So we obviously have controls on the VFD, but with these remote controls we can do things remotely. So you'll see that speed changing. So now we're all set up and it's working really well. So things to point out is that this base plate will rotate in six ways on six different axes. Um, there are a number of things to consider when you order with regards to the specification. Um, you can choose the base color. I think they do a green, blue, and a gray. And this is the, the gunmetal gray, which I quite like. There are a number of motor and VFD configurations. So this is the two horsepower, but they also do a three horsepower as well. Now my old grinder had a one horsepower motor on it and that never ever stalled on me. So I think the two horsepower will be, will be more than enough for what I need. Now I've also specified the, the small wheel package. So you get the, the tool rest as well as the small wheels. And obviously they fit in that little toolbox on the bottom. Um, and I've also ordered the, the rotary platen. But now it's all set up, I think it's time to put this up on the bench and get it working. Let's grind some steel. So now this thing has been installed, I've had a chance to use it for a little bit, and I've got to say this thing is built like a tank, it is rock solid. Everything just moves nicely, there's, there's, everything's just smooth, the tracking works very well, the motor is super super quiet. I'm just really really pleased with it, I think this is going to last me years and years to come. So I think that could be the end of my old grinder, that will probably be used for Maybe if you're doing some wood, that kind of thing. I'll set it up so it doesn't need to be moved anymore. And this thing will become the, the new workhorse. Love it. Absolutely love it.